I'm Dion and welcome to your practice. If you are looking to relax, restore and unwind, then you are in the right place. I'm so pleased that you're here. I'm already in my cosy thermals slash catsuit, also known as, and I'm going to share with you a practice that is really useful for if you just want to chill out, maybe you're not in the mood to kind of do anything high energy, or maybe you're just kind of winding down, getting ready for bed, or maybe having an Oprah day, some days are my Oprah days, but I digress. Uh, you might well need access to some kind of platform. I'm gonna use Harold, the sofa. So if you've got a sofa nearby, great. If you've got a bed nearby, excellent. Maybe not a futon. Um, or a chair. A chair might be handy a bit later on for our relaxation. Also, we want to make this as cosy as possible. So feel free to grab blankets, duvets, whatever works. Um, maybe cushions, pillows. I'm going to use this ginormous blanket here and maybe extra props as I go along. In fact, I'm just going to use a cushion from a chair. Side note, if you can't afford a bolster, just use a cushion from your sofa, that is all. Um, and we're gonna begin first with a down dog, but we're gonna set up for our second posture by using a blanket and this bolster. If you don't have a, a sofa pillow, just use blankets. Essentially, I'm just folding the blanket up into a sort of pillow shape, platform shape and we can always adjust this. Side note, if there's any Ayanga yoga teachers watching and you're probably like really mad at me right now for not folding neatly, sorry, we'll just have to deal with it. So we're gonna first start with down dog, have your um, little pile of coziness to the side, we'll use that in a minute. And I'm just gonna use Harold as a prop for down dog. You can take normal down dog if you prefer, but I quite like this luxury way. Often I do this on the side of a bed as well. So just have the hands on the side of the sofa or the bed or a chair if you're using a chair. And then just come on up, pressing heels of the hands into the edge, ground through the feet. Take a few moments to just settle in, maybe have a little wiggle around. So our aim really is to try and find or create coziness to try and be as comfortable as we can be so that we can just drop in and maybe find relaxation so often i find there's nothing worse than someone saying to you just relax because often it's the last thing we can do when we're thinking about it overthinking so instead we'll just kind of play with props and creating conditions to slow down, to kind of give the body some support so that hopefully we can ease ourselves into a sort of um, feeling of comfort and safety, gentleness, tenderness and so on. So I'm gonna gently come out of here. I'm just gonna walk my feet forward, come onto my knees. And then that little platform that you created, we're going to use that for supported child's pose. So I'm going to separate my knees a bit. My big toes are touching behind me, but you can also have the knees together. I'm just going to pull the platform up towards me. I like it this way. Not everybody does. And, you know, ladies, if you're on your period or you've just eaten a massive burger, maybe you don't want the platform as cl really close to your belly. But I like the feeling of it being close feeling that support and you're just gonna like ooze your way over your platform and make sure that your head is comfortable. So if your platform isn't um, supportive enough then just whack more support there so that it does feel good and I quite like this hugging motion, hugging the props and up to you if you want to just turn the head face down. If your neck feels okay, maybe you turn the head to one side and then really let the props support you. So see if you can just drop in, relax your belly. And if the head is turned to one side, just to even out the stretch, maybe slowly turn the head to the other direction. So we're not 
try to hold the shape but rather let the props support us into a shape that is most comfortable. So just another couple of breaths here, feeling the support. And then we're gently going to bring the hands to the ground, push ourselves up. And you can just gently pull the props out in front of you. And of course, for all of these postures, if you want to hang out for longer in them, you can always press pause and take your time. Totally fine to do that with this whole sequence. So from here, we're going to move into a twist. So I'm going to lower my platform a little bit. I'm just going to take my knees over to the left side of my platform. So I've got like this horizontal line meeting the vertical prop. And I'm going to bring my right hip all the way up to the bolster or blanket or both. And I'm gonna use that for my twist. So my knees aren't stacked. My left knee is just behind my right knee. And I'm slowly gonna walk my hands either side of this, I don't really know what to call it, bolster platform thing. I'm gonna turn my head in the same direction as my knees. And then my hands and my forearms are on the floor also supporting me as well as the props. So hopefully, this should feel really lovely and comfortable. Oh. And hopefully you can just let the belly go. And feel welcome to close your eyes here as you drop in. And sometimes dropping in might take a little while to do and that's okay. So just let yourself take the time that you need to unwind. And if it helps, you might think about little prompts for yourself, for example. Notice if your shoulders are kind of hunching up and pulling away from the floor. And instead, just let them ease away from your ears, ease towards the ground. So seeing if you can find softness. Another couple of breaths here. And then we're slowly going to turn to the other side. So I'm going to use my hands to support me here, press into the floor. Slowly come on up and then we're going to swap sides, see if you can get there as effortlessly as possible. So now I'm going to line my left hip up. and then gently lower myself down. So personally, I find it more comfortable to turn my head in the same direction as my knees, but some of you may feel okay to turn the head away. Of course, this adds a more dynamic element to the twist. And really with this practice, we're trying to kind of slow things down and not get the body too excited, if you know what I mean. Um, so we're trying to find ease and not push ourselves into particular shapes. I mean, we're never trying to do that anyway in our practice, hopefully. So if you find that turning the head away from the knees is just creating too much tension, instead just slowly turn it back, find the ease, find your breath, and let yourself drop in. Just another couple of breaths here, relax the belly. Soften the tongue, soften the muscles around the jaw. And then from here, use the hands, press them into the floor, push yourself up, take your time. I'm gonna swing my legs around towards you. Just pull the props to the side and stretch out a little bit, lean back, you can point, flex the feet, wiggle the toes. Belly is soft. And then from here, we're gonna move a little bit into the hips. So I'm gonna bend my left knee and then just let the left knee drop out to the side. So Janu Shirshasana, the official pose, but a slight variation here. So if you're feeling that it's a little bit uncomfortable to sit on the floor, then you might well have a 
pillow or something under your bum to give you your hips a little bit of height. I'm feeling okay on the floor, so what I'm going to do is just swing my props around. And I'm going to put my props in between both legs. And again, I, I like that feeling of my belly being supported on the props. And we're going to have the option of folding forward here, so up to you. I quite like the variation of like posing for an awkward 80s glamour shot or something. But some of you may feel like creating more of a supportive bolster to fold forward onto. So you can play with that until you find a position that enables you to not think too much about having to stretch, but instead have the legs and hips in a comfortable position in order for the upper body just to find ease. So people feel this in different areas. We're not necessarily looking to create sensation in the body, but some people might feel that there's sensation around that left hip socket, maybe around the left side lower back. This can be a nice one if you have kind of low back tension, if you sit a lot during the day. Your belly is soft, we're not hanging out too long here, but of course know that you can just press pause and spend longer here if it's feeling good. Otherwise, we're gonna take our time to come out. Slowly coming up, just gonna move my props as I bring that knee up, stretch that left leg out. Maybe you feel a difference between one leg and the other, I definitely do. One leg might feel heavier, but totally doesn't have to. Then we're gonna do the other side. So I'm just going to turn a bit for you. You can see the position of my legs. So just another word on this one. Sometimes, as you can see, my right knee is sort of hovering in space. So this is my tighter side. And yeah, let me know your tighter side or not. I don't know. You can always just take a pillow or a blanket or something and offer it some support. So often if there's like something suspended in space, particularly something like a knee, knees are really volatile joints. I'm sure many of you might have experienced that. And it can be really nice just to give the knee a bit of extra support so that the body doesn't have to work to find softness or it doesn't have to work to find ease. So really, again, just to reiterate, this practice is just focused on us being able to find support, drop in, get cozy, get comfortable. And if sitting up feels most relaxing here, then by all means, stay up if you wanna explore folding and do what feels good here. And I often find that, especially in restorative yoga poses, it's really nice to support the head, especially if you have been pretty active or like thinking, working, processing. A lot of that energy is like upward, all in the brain, the thinking. And it can be difficult to wind down when we're busy or we're lacking in time and so on. So instead, what we're trying to do is to support the head so that we can send this kind of energy downwards. So as we send energy downwards, we kind of create conditions to feel more grounded. And when we can feel more grounded, more supported, then hopefully we can start to slow things down, let the body do what it knows how to do. It knows how to restore itself. It knows how to run efficiently, super efficiently. So from here, we're slowly gonna come up. So take your time. Cool. Nice. I'm just gonna pull these to the side. 
and then from here I'm just going to have a wide legged position and up to you, you can use the props again, just bring them between the two legs and if you've got tight hamstrings by all means feel free to bend the knees a little you can stay upright, you can support yourself with hands behind you if that feels softer and more relaxing didn't want to use that word but you know what I mean if you feel that there's space to come forward without straining or forcing or pushing then maybe see how that feels and once again maybe you turn the head to the side if that's not great for your neck then maybe just turn the head to face your blanket and see if you can really ground through the thighs can be a nice thing to do especially towards the end of the day and especially if we are feeling quite wired the head is turned to one direction slowly lift it up and take it to the other side soft belly soft jaw soft tongue See if you can soften the muscles around your eyes. Nice. And then from here, support yourself. Slowly come up. Nice. So take your time here. You can just take the inside of the knees and then just use your hands to help re-bend the knees. Nice. And from here we're going to take a kind of um, gentle mm, reclining posture using your chair or your Harold or sofa or whatever you've got handy, bed, depending on the height of the bed. I'm just going to walk my bum as close to the edge of the chair as possible. Come to lie down and just swing the legs up there so that hopefully feels comfortable for the calves and the feet to rest on the floor both bum cheeks resting on the ground arms by the sides a few breaths there fidget if you need to fidget and find the sweet spot and in this position I quite like to stay for a period of time if you've got an eye pillow or if you don't have an eye pillow maybe grab a towel or a flannel, it can be quite nice just to put over your eyes or over your forehead. You could also use a blanket of course. And then just take all the time that you need here. Great if you've got at least five minutes to be in this position. If you're feeling that you're coming to the end of your allotted practice time, it's slowly going to ease out of the position. So take your time here. Just start to drag the heels towards you. And then maybe you can just press the heels into the edge of your chair or your sofa or your Harold. And you can take hold of the knees, maybe give yourself a squeeze. And then roll onto one side, legs heavy, and use your hand or hands to press into the floor and find your way upright. Feel free to sit on a prop of some sort or kneel or whatever feels good. And just take a moment when you're back upright. Just tuning into sensation and just noticing how you feel. And if it's bedtime for you now, might be a good time just to crawl into bed, have a wonderful snooze. If you're kind of chilling for the rest of the day, or maybe if you've just got to get back to work and get on with stuff, then. Maybe there's a little bit of this softness that you might be able to take with you. Bring the palms together, chin to chest, 
peel open the eyes and just peek through your eyelashes, look towards your fingertips. Take a few more blinks as you open the eyes. Nice, then release the hands, lift the head. I hope you managed to squeeze in some softness, some cosiness, some restoration and whatever you've got ahead of you either this evening or for the rest of the day, I hope that it's easeful. Thank you so much for practicing with me. Mm, I'm gonna have a nap. <laughs> Thank you so much. See you soon. Bye.